So I was thinking, should we maybe try to get Girl Meets World on Hulu instead of Netflix? Now, allow me to explain why I'm even asking this question in the first place. What's going on, YouTube? Uh, so, is it just me? Or is literally every single other show on television right now getting renewed for another season? Every single one of my favorite shows are getting renewed right now, except for the one that I probably want renewed the most. Now, ain't that a b I mean, The Flash just got renewed for a fourth season. Empire just got renewed for another season. As you guys know, Backstage got renewed for a second season. The Fosters got renewed for a fifth season. I mean, so many of my favorite shows have been getting renewed lately. So I guess even though Girl Meets World was canceled, at least pretty much all of my other favorite shows are making up for it. And The Fosters is one that I still really, really want to dive in into one day because that show has really won me over i mean i don't want to get into every detail in this video because i plan to make another video just talking about the fosters so i can really dive into all of the craziness going on with that show i mean my god that show has consistently shown me that it does not give a that show is gonna do what it wants without asking for your opinion first, all right? That show doesn't give a f That show will slap your mother and then dare you to do something about it. The Fosters is a boss, and bosses don't ask for permission. That show is crazy. And if you're really big on chips like you guys know I am, that show has plenty to choose from. But you know, quantity is not always better than quality. In fact, I would argue it almost never is. But I'll get more into the ships and all of that in another video, but this show really does make me feel some kind of way regarding the ships. I know a lot of people have their favorites, but I'm struggling to fall in love with even one of these ships except probably the moms and maybe one other one i know callie and brandon seem to be like the most popular and go-to ship on the show and i definitely have a lot to say about that ship believe me but again that's for another video and I also have more Flash videos coming up as well, and another West Allen video coming up very shortly, which should have already been put out, but with all of this Girl Meets World news happening lately, I just had to keep on postponing and postponing and postponing, but don't worry, that video is also coming. But right now, I'm just really trying to get caught up with the Fosters before the show resumes again at the end of the month, which I will because I'm way ahead of schedule on that because i'm binge watching the hell out of this show and if you guys want to know where i'm at right now well i'm almost done with season three and i will be done with season three by the end of the day when it comes to getting caught up with a show that i really like i don't mess around and I've proven this multiple times with The Vampire Diaries, The 100, and so on. But anyways, I digress. Now let's talk about why I'm proposing that maybe we try to get Girl Meets World on Hulu instead of Netflix, or at least try equally for both networks. And that's because it just recently got brought to my attention that apparently most or all of Netflix original shows, none of them have more than 13 episodes a season which is kind of like really f lame i mean i guess you could argue that this won't matter if they make enough seasons to make up for it but i would argue even then it would probably still matter because we're probably gonna have to wait at least months in between the next season right and i would rather not have to take that long break after watching only like half of the episodes that i'm used to watching before taking a break I would rather take that break after like, you know, 20 something or 30 episodes instead of 13. Unless they plan on making like hour long episodes and even still. 13 episodes before taking a break into the next season is just not enough. 
Whereas Hulu, on the other hand, and I double checked this before making this video, they do have plenty of shows where they go into like, you know, the 20 something episode range or 30 episodes before going into the next season. So basically what we're used to. So everything would basically feel the same. And I know I don't speak for myself when I say I want as many Girl Meets World episodes as possible. And I don't know if Netflix makes up for this by just making more seasons or not. But like I said, I mean, either way, we're going to have to take that several months break after just 10 to 13 episodes instead of 20 something. And that's a big deal to me. And I don't know how often Netflix releases a new episode to their original shows. And the same goes for Hulu for that matter. Maybe you guys can enlighten me in the comment section if you do know. Is it once a week, which I'm hoping for? Or is it once a month? Is it a couple of times a week? I mean, what is it? But I mean, that's not the only reason that I'm suggesting that maybe we try Hulu. I mean, the other obvious reason is, well, what if Netflix either can't or isn't willing for whatever reason hulu is just like netflix in the sense that they also pick up canceled shows sometimes one of the examples being i think what is that show called the mindy project which got canceled by fox before being picked up by hulu and i believe that show was like on its fifth season now or something like that so hulu is also known for doing this as well so i figure why not show them some love and attention too and let's see if they're as nice and generous about this as as Netflix is. And more importantly, let's see if they're as willing. Maybe we can let those two networks battle it out to see which one of those two companies wants the licensings for Girl Meets World bad enough. Let them two companies duke it out. Because you know whichever one gets it, I mean, Girl Meets World is going to be one of their most popular shows. You know that. This fan base is just too big. So, I mean, whoever does get it is going to be very lucky. And I just want to make sure the right network does get it. Now, that being said, don't get me wrong. I mean, if Netflix is so kind to do pick it up, I'm not going to sit here and be upset about it. Even if there is only 13 episodes a season, I mean, that's better. Better than nothing and i'm pretty sure netflix doesn't have a four season only rule correct me if i'm wrong so that would mean even though that there's only 13 episodes a season it can still go way past season four which means that we would still be watching and talking about girl meets world for years to come so I really don't want to make this come out like I'm going to be complaining or mad or upset if Netflix does pick up the show over Hulu. I'm just saying that maybe we should be showing equal attention to Hulu because that may be our better option if we did have a choice. And that's probably our best backup plan too just in case something does go wrong with Netflix. I mean, I never watched the Mindy Project, but I'm guessing Girl Meets World would be at least as good as that show. And Hulu picked that up after a really passionate fan base cried about it after Fox canceled it. So I'm gonna try to figure out where you're supposed to go to, you know, suggest new shows to Hulu. I'm guessing it's somewhere on their website though, so I'm gonna leave the link to that in the description box. I don't know if they have a phone number like Netflix that you can call as well but i really really do think that we should start showing some attention to hulu too just in case a little insurance ain't never hurt nobody and like i said whichever one of these two companies is ever so kind to pick it up whichever one it is i will be forever grateful and forever your slave now shut up and take my money but I'm done talking. Uh, let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comment section below. And if you guys really enjoy my videos and want to help me make many more videos for you guys going forward, check out that Patreon link in the description box. And if you guys really enjoyed this video, you know what to do. But as always, until next time.